Hey everybody, welcome to the Intercontinental Bangkok Sukhum Vid. Today I'm going to show you an incredible club suite with lounge access. So come on, let's go check it out. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Andy and I vlog my travel experiences en route to every country in the world. So while we pass through the lobby, let me explain how I got this stay for free. I spent 26,000 one reward points. That's the IHG loyalty currency, which I earned from previous days, such as the Holiday Inn and the Crown Plaza. And as an intercontinental ambassador, I also get lounge access and late checkouts added into every stay. Okay, let's take a little walk through of Suite. King Suite 2904. This is the suite on the 29th floor. The lounge is on the 31st. The pool is on the 32nd, just for perspective. So let's just walk in straight away. Greased it with a nice carpet. Fantastic views uh, into the city. There's the BTS, the Bangkok transit system down there. And on our left, way over there, would be the Chao Phraya River. And uh, right in front of us is the Ascot. And just behind it, but you can't see it, is the Marriott. So yeah, let's go straight into the room itself. Huge big king bed, very comfortable. Um, another TV here, it's playing all your regular channels. Uh, I've got it set to BBC at the moment. Um, Something I didn't remember from the last time was this Tonglo Times newspaper, which seems to be an in-house kind of uh, generated newspaper talking about all the features of the hotel. Um, I don't know how that newspaper can really change over the months in terms of the story, but maybe the chefs change. I don't know exactly. Um, but yeah, great view of the, the bed there. Moving around to the left, I will have some storage space, closet, ironing board, um, the laundry and iron in there as well. I think that's my t-shirt. Nice little design here. What is going on? Okay. This is uh, the bathroom with a huge big bathtub. As usual, the amenities uh, by Reddle. And if you've forgotten anything, they of course always come with a dental kit, shaving kit, shower cap, comb, sanitary bag, um, more water in here. Uh, and this is the shower itself. Nice big rain shower. Should we just give it a shot? Oh, I need to walk out the way. Okay. <laughs> All right, how am I gonna turn this off? <laughs> there we go. Didn't get wet. And these are your products. Shampoo, body wash, and conditioner. Moving around. Hey, <laughs> moving around. There is uh, the bathroom, uh, the actual toilet, sorry, on the left. Feels like this. Um, and some storage space. You know, this design just reminds me so much of the suite in the Intercontinental in Tashkent in Uzbekistan, which I vlogged not long ago. Um, it just feels almost, I just have this muscle memory. Everything's where it was in that hotel. Uh, last thing to show is the mini bar and cocktail station, which is really cool. Uh, every room in the hotel has this. It's not just the, the suite which I'm in. Uh, the glasses are exactly the same. The choice of alcohols are also the same. This is your coffee espresso uh, station right here. And in this one should be the mini bar. Yep. Uh, as a point of reference, as a, an ambassador in this room, the following drinks are free. These two waters are free. The uh, Pepsi is free, as are the Schweppes. But in theory, everything else is paid for. But you know, I always find it. So either coming out your $20 a day budget, which you get as an ambassador, or, or they just don't notice. Oh, this is something cool. They have a, a subwoofer here. I've never seen that before in the other rooms in this hotel. So yes, if you want to have a party, play some music. <laughs> I would imagine it would sound pretty cool. And if, yeah, of course it will be sign proofed um, wall by wall, room by room. So yeah, this is the King Suite on the 29th floor. This is room 2904, if you like it, if you want to stay. This is, uh, this is the room.